grade 8 math number 8.2a solve by substitution method. We can use substitution to solve for linear equations. This is how. We solve for one variable in one of the equations. We substitute that resulting expression for the same variable in the other equation. We substitute the solution into either original equation to find the value of the other variable. Are you confused? All right, I'll explain it. Don't worry. We can turn two equations with two variables into one equation with one variable. Think of it like this. If 6 equals 4 plus 2, we can substitute that 4 plus 2 in any equation that has a 6 in it. See? 5 plus 6 becomes 5 plus 4 plus 2. That's substitution. We substituted the 4 plus 2 in the place of the 6. See? I'm going to do the same thing with the x and the y. So here's our system of equations. We've got 3x plus 5y equals 26 for one equation, and we've got y equals 2x for the other one. Now guess what? This y equals 2x already tells us what y is equal to. It's equal to 2x. The second equation is already solved for y. It equals 2x. We can substitute this 2x in the, into the first equation right here for the y. See? Now we have this for our equation. So here was the y. We're going to put 2x in its place. We've got 3x plus 5 times 2x equals 26. See? We substituted that. So all we have to do is multiply. The 5 times 2x makes 10x, right? Well, now we've got a 3x and a 10x. We can combine these like terms and get 13x. You know what this does, right? We divide both sides by 13 to isolate that x. So that gives us our friend the invisible 1. 26 divided by 13 is 2, so x is equal to 2. Ooh, we now know what x is equal to. Let's work on y. So now we can use the knowledge that this x is equal to 2 and use this to solve for y. Well, it told us that y was equal to 2x. Well, that means, because we now know that x is a 2, that y is equal to 2 times 2. So y is equal to 4. We substitute y equals 4 into the first equation. So that said 3x plus 5y equals 26. Well. That's 3 times 2, because x is 2, that's a 6, and 5 times 4, because the y is a 4, that's 20. 6 plus 20 is 26. So we have the ordered pair of 2 and 4. x is a 2, y is a 4. That satisfies both equations, and it's a solution to the system of equations. See? Let's try it again with another example, okay? So here's our system of equations. Here's our two equations. Here's the first one, and here's the second one, okay? So we're going to solve an equation for one variable. So let's work with this first one right here. I'm sorry, my dog is barking. They're checking the gas meter out back. So here's our first equation, all right? We've got negative 3x plus y equals 1. So we want to get y to one side like this, all right? It'll actually look like slope-intercept form, won't it? We want to get the y to one side so we can say this equals the y. All right? And the way we did it was we've got negative 3x plus y equals 1. We just add 3x to each side, and that makes a zero pair here, right? Minus 3x plus 3x, that's a zero pair. And when we add the 3x to this side, we get 3x plus 1. Yeah, look at that. Now we can say that that is what y is equal to, and we can plug that in to the other equation, the second one. 4x plus y equals 8, see? So from now, we're going to say that that's y, 3x plus 1. So what we need to do is combine like terms, OK? So we've got 4x plus 3x plus 1. Well, 4x and 3x is 7x plus 1. So now we have 7x plus 1 equals 8. We can subtract 1 from each side because we want to get x by itself, right? So this creates a zero pair right here, and we eliminate that. And 8 take away 1 is 7. Now we have 7x equals 7. See that? So, as we've always done with linear equations, we divide both sides by 7 to isolate that x, and we get our friend the invisible 1 again. So we just have an x, 1x, is equal to 1. 7 over 7 equals 1. See that? Now we know what x equals. You know what we can do with that? We can plug that in to this equation, and we can find out what y is. So it said 
negative 3x plus y equals 1, let's put 1 in place of that x right there, okay? So we've got negative 3 times 1 plus y equals 1. Well, negative 3 times a positive 1 is a negative 3. So we've got our original equation, negative 3 plus y equals 1. Now, all we have to do is add 3 to each side to isolate that y. A negative 3 plus 3 creates a zero pair, so that's eliminated. 1 plus 3 is 4, the y drops down, y equals 4, x equals 1, our ordered pair is 1 and 4. x is 1, y is 4, and that's the solution to the system of equations. And if we wanted to, we could do what we did over here and plug the 1 and the 4 into these to check and see if the math comes out right to make sure we did it right, okay? I'm running out of board space. We know they're right, right? But normally it is good to check, okay? So that's solving by the substitution method. It's really not that big of a deal. It's really kind of cool, like a puzzle. You use one piece to help you solve the other piece. It's like being a detective, okay? All right, we're going to continue on talking about systems of equations, and we're going to move on to 8.2b. I hope this was helpful, and I'm so glad we're making this progress. Keep plugging, keep your chin up. We can do this together, and I'll see you next video. Bye.